Hello, YouTubers. This is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever, coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today, I'll be doing a review on the Gemini Jets LaFanza Airbus A350 900 XWB extra wide body aircraft in their current 2018 revised livery scheme in a 1 200 scale model. I purchased this model from Easy Toys, and their website address is www.easytoys.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, allow me to share some information about the history of Lathans and how they came about and still operating strong at the time of this video review posting, if you would please. Lathansa actually traces its history beginnings back to 1926 when Doha Lufthansa AG was first formed in Berlin, Germany. DLH, as it was known for short, was actually the major flag carrier airline of Germany until 1945 when all services were suspended following the defeat of Germany in World War II. Then fast forward eight years later to January 6, 1953, in an effort to create a new national airline, a company called Luftag was founded in Cologne, Germany. Then on August 6, 1954, Luftag acquired the name and the logo of the liquidated Deutsche Lufthansa for 30,000 Duschmarks thus continuing the tradition of a German flag carrier of that name, which is mostly recognized today as Lufthansa, as the airline officially commenced operation shortly thereafter on April 1, 1955. The name of the company Lufthansa is derived from the word Luft, which is the German word for air, and Hansa, which is the Latin term meaning guild, which is most commonly used historically in reference to the Hanseatic League whereas the headquarters of Lufthansa is located in Dijus, which is an inner city sectional part of Cologne, Germany, while the carrier's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Frankfurt Airport, which is located approximately seven and a half miles southwest of the central district section of Frankfurt, Germany, which is located in the Frankfurt suburb of Kelsterbach. Lufthansa also has a secondary hub that's located on the grounds of Munich Airport, which is located approximately 17.7 .7 miles northeast of Munich, Germany, near the city of Friesen, Bavaria, Germany. Lufthansa is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Germany, as well as the second largest operating airline in Europe at the Rhine Air, that's based in terms of fleet size and passengers carried, as Lufthansa flies to 20, 220 destinations in 81 countries across Africa, North and South America, Asia, and Europe an operating fleet of 277 aircraft, which includes 17 Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft, including this one you're looking at here. And in addition to the 277 aircraft that currently operates in Lufthansa's fleet, the German-based carrier also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 155 more aircraft, which includes 27 more Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. As of January 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Lufthansa is one of 11 airline carriers, along with ANA All Nippon Airways, based out of Tokyo, Japan, Asiana Airlines, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific, based out of Hong Kong, Eva Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garuda, Indonesia, based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Hainan Airlines, based out of Heiko, Hainan, China. Japan Airlines, also based out of Tokyo, Japan. Korean Air, also based out of Seoul, South Korea. Qatar Airways, based out of Doha, Qatar. And Singapore Airlines, based out of Singapore. To hold this prestigious honor of operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the International Airline Review Firm, Skytrax Magazine, and the Airbus destination code for Lufthansa for this particular aircraft is 94X. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box. It's custom-made silver box you're looking at. And what you're looking at at the top is the engraved blue Gemini 200 decal, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, the registration ship number, the Lufthansa logo, as well as the Lufthansa billboard title, as well as the one 200 scale diecast model aircraft and item number information you see at the front of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box, and what you see is the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the Gemini 200 decal engraved in blue, 
And there's some more information right there, including the Lafonza Fishery License Product Decal you see there, as well as Gemini Jet social media pages information you see there as well. You can pause and read that if you like, which I find very informative, but at the same time, I'm gonna keep this moving, all right? All right, now you're looking at the top of the box, and what you see is the engraved blue Gemini 200 decal, the adult collectible model and warning information, as well as the item number information at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the bottom box, and all you see at the bottom box is the engraved blue Gemini 200 decal. Now you're looking at the left side of the box, and what you see is the engraved blue Gemini 200 decal, the 1 200 scale diecast model and item information, the aircraft type, the registered ship number, as well as the computer generated picture of the aircraft. Now you're looking at the right side of the box, it's pretty much the same information on the left side of the box I showed you earlier on, okay? All right, now you're looking at the metal model stand that actually came with the model, and you see the black pattern right up here. This pattern also not only protects your model, it also prevents it from being damaged or scratched when you put this particular aircraft model on, the, on this particular model stand. Now you're looking at this plastic bag. What you see in this plastic bag are the actual gear replacement doors featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into details for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, all right? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of Lufthansa and how they came out and still operate strongly as we speak, plus all the details here at this uh, front of the box here, as the information at the back of the box, plus the model stand, as well as the gear replacement doors inside that plastic bag. With no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging. Let's check it out. There it is, everyone, the Gemini Jets Lufthansa Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft in their current 2018 revised livery scheme. All right. Allow me to share some information about the history of the Lufthansa Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft and how it became a part of their fleet and which is becoming a game changer as we speak. Lufthansa became the 10th airline in the world of aviation after Qatar Airways, Vietnam Airlines, Finn Air, the TAM slash Latam Airlines Group, Singapore Airlines, Cathay Pacific, Ethiopian Airlines, Thai Airways International, and China Airlines respectively that acquired this prestigious state-of-the-art aircraft as Lufthansa took delivery of its first of 43 Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft that Lufthansa had placed orders for back on September 19, 2013, and received their very first Airbus A350-900XWB, extra wide-body aircraft, which bared the registration ship number D-AIXA at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility, which is located in Toulouse, France, on December 19, 2016. Then fast forward seven weeks later, and that's when Lufthansa's first inaugural international flight on this jetliner aircraft actually took place, which was on February 10, 2017. And that's when Lufthansa officially began utilizing this aircraft on their Munich, Germany to New Delhi, India route eventually replacing the Airbus A340-600 that was previously utilized on this particular route. As Munich and Frankfurt has become the primary gateway basis for this particular aircraft type, with the lion's share of the Airbus A350-900XWBs currently operates mostly out of the airline's secondary hub at Munich Airport. Lufthansa has ordered a total of 43 Airbus A350-900XWBs extra wide-body aircraft to add to its fleet. And at the time of this video review posting, only 17 are currently operating in service, while the remaining 26 are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery, as this aircraft has become the aircraft that will eventually place the carrier's entire fleet of Airbus A340s, which includes the 300 variant as well as the 600 variant sometime in the foreseeable future, as this particular aircraft is destined to become one of the airline's official flagship jetliners for the Cologne-based carrier as Lufthansa expects to have all 43 of their Airbus A350-900XWBs to be fully operating in fleet by the end of 2027. All right, let's talk about the livery scheme on this aircraft. This is the current revised livery scheme of Lufthansa. 
which is actually called the Lothansa Blue Livery Scheme, which was officially unveiled at a special unveiling ceremony that was held at Lothansa's Aviation Center facility, which is located on the grounds of Frankfurt Airport in Frankfurt, Germany, on February 8, 2018. And the first aircraft that began sporting this livery scheme was a Boeing 747-8I intercontinental jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number D-AVYA. As the fuselage of the aircraft actually remained pure white, whereas the long blue arc part of the tail now extends down underneath the rear of the fuselage, as you can see there. The Lothansa logo, which is actually displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft, is also similar to the previous logo that features the enriched stylized crane that's flying inside the circle that was previously painted in yellow, has since been replaced and painted with the color of silver as part of a greater rebranding effort on the behalf of the German-based carrier Lufthansa to distinguish itself as a premium-based airline as Lufthansa expects to have its entire fleet painted in this livery scheme by the end of 2025. The Lufthansa Blue updated revised livery scheme was created and designed by Ronald Wild, who is, by the way, the corporate design manager for Lufthansa. So, with all that information out of the way about the history of this aircraft, how it's become a game changer for him, as well as this uh, unique livery scheme you see on it, which is, I'm finally growing on it. With no further ado, everyone, please allow me to get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft mount. Shall we? Let us begin and check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side. That's where we're going to start at. We're going to start at the front nose landing gears right here, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on it, XN. You see the Peter 2s and the static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, and there's, there's more Peter 2s right there, as well as the windshield wipers and the cockpit windows. Please stay tuned as I go and give you better details and give you a better visual view of those details later on in the model review. But um, more importantly, right below the uh, cockpit window is the Lufthansa logo, which is displayed underneath the cockpit windows, which is this logo right here. This is the emblem of Lufthansa's logo, which was designed by the late German architect and graphic designer Otto Furley in 1918, as it symbolizes an enriched stylized crane in flight. As the emblem was adopted by Deutsche Lufthansa in 1926, and has been the airline's official logo ever since, as this logo can also be visibly seen on the blended winglets. I'm going to show you that now. There, inside the blended winglet as well. There, as well as on the tail fin of the aircraft. There. I'm going to let you know a little secret here on this logo right here. It ain't actually white on the actual real aircraft. It's actually silver, but on, the, on this model, it's white, but it's actually silver. Just give you a little heads up on that, okay? All right, we still have the front of the aircraft here on the port side, and now what you're looking at between the cockpit windows and the L1 entrance door is the actual Star Alliance decal, which is this little decal you're looking at here. And Lufthansa actually joined the Star Alliance along with Air Canada, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, and United Airlines as one of the five founding members on May 14, 1997, which consists of 26 airline members from five inhabited continents. And then you see the decal that's displayed next to the L1 and L2 entrance door right here and right there as well. What's inside that yellow decal is the Lufthansa logo as well as the words Wacom, which is inscripted in the German language, which actually means welcome, which is also inscripted in the English language that's displayed inside this yellow decal, in those yellow decals, okay? And then you see the uh, Airbus A350-900 decal you see right here. Lufthansa has now become one of seven European carriers along with Finn Air, Air Caribs, French B, Iberia, Air France, and SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, as well as one of 29 carriers in the world of aviation overall that's currently operating the Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft variant into their fleet as of January 2022 or at the time of this video review posting. All right, we still at the front of the aircraft here on the port side because there's a lot of information on this aircraft, just on the front part of the aircraft alone. 
And underneath the Airbus A350-900 decal is the actual name of the aircraft, Gottening, which is, you see displayed there. And this particular aircraft is named after this historical and wealthy city, which is called Gottening, which was founded during the medieval times between 1150 and 1200 AD and was a member of the Hanseatic League, as this city is also known as University City, as one of the oldest universities in Europe, which is called Teork, August University. Gottening, which was founded in 1734, is also located in this historical university town, as this historical city is actually located approximately 147 miles northeast of Frankfurt, Germany. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft, the lower part of the aircraft, and underneath the wings, you see the actual outer landing bogey gears you see here, which includes the landing gear struts as well as landing gear doors. But more important, these big massive engines you're looking at here, and these are the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular Lufthansa Airbus A350-900 XWB extra wide body jetliner aircraft. You also see the engine cones right there, which is pretty much realistic in detail. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around, and we're going to find out if the turbo fan blades on these engines actually spin. Let's check out and find out. All right. Now you're looking at the uh, front of the engines here on the uh, port slash left side of the aircraft, featuring the engine strike slash air deflectors there as well. And now we're going to find out if the turbo fan blades actually spin. Let's check it out. Yep, they do. Perfect. Awesome. Then you see the inboard land light right there, which is actually painted in. You see the triangle pan, three little dots right there, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears, which includes the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the uh, starboard slash right side of the aircraft, featuring the engine strikes slash air deflector there as well. And then let's see if the turbo fan blade spin over here as well. Perfect. So far, so good. Awesome. And then you see the inboard landing light you see here on this side of the aircraft, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears, including the landing gear struts and the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, where you see right here the pilot escape hatch door. I'm going to give you a better visual view of that detail later on in the review. And then there's the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the pitot tubes right there uh, below the uh, cockpit windows and windshield wipers and right above the radon nose dome, the actual radon nose dome, uh, the nose gear doors, the landing gear lights inside of the nose gear door, the nose gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears. All right, now you're looking at the blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft featuring the red navigation light you see displayed there. And these blended winglets were actually made from composite materials, and the sole purpose of these blended winglets is to improve the overall efficiency of the aircraft, resulting in saving fuel, lowering noise emissions, and improving takeoff performance at the same time. These blended winglets has a 31.9 degree sweep angle, helping to increase cruise speed to Mach 0.85 and a maximum operate speed to Mach 0.89. These blended winglets for the Airbus A350 aircraft were produced at the Airbus Broughton factory, known as a specialist facility located in Hawarton, Flintshire, Wales, which lies near the border of England and Wales. And then you see the Lufthansa logo you see there on the uh, blended winglet wingtip device I showed you earlier. Now I'm going to let you see these blended winglets at the front fit, uh, view angle. Let's check them out. Now you're looking at the front visual view of these blended winglet wingtip devices, which is at a 31.9 degree sweep line. How you see it's curved off, you see there, which I find impressive. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the AFT bolt bend door. And right below the uh, economy class window is the actual registration ship number, registration ship number D-AIXN. Registration ship number D-AIXN. This particular aircraft is the 14th Lufthansa Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft that actually entered the carrier's fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on January 31st, 2019 and was delivered to Lufthansa on March 28, 2019. 
All right, we stay at the back of the aircraft here on the port side and right next to the registration ship number is the actual German flag decal, which is this decal you're looking at right here. And this flag decal represents the country where Lufthansa currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Germany. And then you slide up here, you know, it's the Lufthansa blue back here. I just painted Lufthansa blue. And then you see the uh, Lufthansa logo, as I mentioned earlier, this is white on the aircraft on this model, but the, on the actual models, actual aircraft per se, it's actually painted in silver. Just giving you a heads up on that information, okay? All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the APU, auxiliary power unit exhaust hole right here. There's a hole there. And underneath the APU exhaust hole, is two little dots you see right here. Those are the actual strobe lights, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check it out. There it is, the Lufthansa Airbus A350-900 XWB in their 2018 revised livery scheme in a one to scale model from the rear view angle. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard slash right side, where you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the red partial registration ship number on that landing gear door, XN. See the Peter tools and the static ports. You see the radar right nose cone. You see the uh, more Peter tools right there. And then there's the windshield wipers and the cockpit window. Then you see the Lufthansa logo, the Star Alliance decal, the Lufthansa title, uh, the Aircraft type, Airbus A350-900, name of the aircraft, Gottenin, Gottenin, sorry about that, Gottenin. And then there's the uh, front cargo container loading door. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft here on the starboard side and underneath the wings, looking at the uh, Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines on this side of the aircraft, featuring the engine cones right here, as well as the side visual view of the landing bogey gears, including the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft, featuring the airline's logo, as well as the uh, green navigation light you see on the edge here near the uh, wing blended winglet wingtip device as well as a front visual view of the blended winglet wingtip device. It's also sweeping a 31.9 degree sweep angle you see on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the rear cargo container loading door, the registration ship number, the German flag decal, as well as the airline's logo painted in the uh, Lufthansa blue tail fin of the aircraft. Let's check it out. There you have it right there. That's also painted in silver as well, okay? All right, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, please allow me to let you check out the one feature, which is the rolling gears. I'm about to show you that right now. Oh, it rolls pretty good. So far, so good. You still got to be careful with these gears. They're very delicate, though. But the, uh, the model does tilt, as you can see there. The front nose landing gears also swivels as well. You see there, perfect. So with that said, allow me to show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, okay? Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view. We're gonna start at the front where you see the radar right nose cone, the Peter tools, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Pondscape hatch door, and then you come up this way, you see the Lufthansa titles on both sides. You see the anti-collision beacon light. And then that's the Wi-Fi box antenna right there. And then there's a high frequency antenna. Then you slide up this way, another high frequency antenna. And that's the satellite communications antenna, as well another high frequency. And then there's the uh, vertical stabilizer known as the tail fin. And then there's the uh, horizontal stabilizer right there, right there. Uh, no illuminated lights, but that's all good. If they were, they'd be in there somewhere, and the sole purpose of that illuminated light is to light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now, let's check out the engines and the wings above. Now, you're looking at the engines there. There ain't no wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slaps, aileron spoilers, what have you. So no warning information. Fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet featuring the airline's logo, you see displayed there as well. 
Now let's check out over here. See the engines there? No wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, warning information, fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet wingtip device on this side, the aircraft feature and the airline logo displayed here on this side as well. All right, now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail. We're gonna start at the front there as well. You see the radon nose cone, this crew escape hatch door. And then you see the um, front nose gear door, the front nose gear. And then you come up this way, a couple of high frequency antennas. That's the uh, anti-collision beacon light right there. And then there's the hole where the stand goes in. And then there's another uh, anti-collision beacon light. And there's the Gemini Jets logo. A couple more high frequency antennas there. Then there's the Lathonza blue right there. And then there's the APU housing door as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears you see here, there, the engine there, as well as the wings underneath with flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you, fuel dump valve, as well as the blended wing feature and the airline's logo on this side here as well. Then there's the gears right there. They tilt there as well. The engine's there, as well as the wings underneath. Includes the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. Fuel dump valve, as well as the blended wing with featuring the airline's logo displayed on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little model stand that I showed you earlier. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Let's check it out. All right, finally got this model on the stand. No problem, no hesitation. As you see it being displayed on the stand, being viewed in the takeoff landing position that's being viewed from the port side of the aircraft. All right, now you're looking at the model on the stand and displayed in uh, tech in flight mode in takeoff landing position, uh, being viewed from the front view angle. All right, now you're looking at the model on the stand being viewed in a take in a takeoff landing position, uh, being viewed from the starboard side of the aircraft. And finally, you see this model on the stand being viewed in the takeoff land position, being viewed from the tail cam angle. All right, before I take this model to stand, I got it at this angle for a reason. And the reason is, is the magnetic gears that actually came with the model. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off and let you see what I'm talking about. Let's start at the front nose gear right here. That's magnetic there. The outer nose, outer bogey gear here on the support side there as well as the outer bogey gear here on the starboard side, okay? So since I got all the gears off, I'm gonna let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode slash gears up position. Let's check it out. All right, now you see this model on the stand being viewed in in flight mode slash gears up position. Now you got one or two options how you wanna to continue to play your model. If you wanna to continue to play it like this in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears, that's fine. Now you see these gear replacement doors I showed you earlier, featuring the two little toothpicks inside this plastic bag. That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors, so you can substitute your model while you split it like this in flight mode slash gears up position. All you do, all I gotta do is just keeping the gear down position. Gears up, gear down, your choice, but I choose the add mines on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these gears back on this model, take this model stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model review, all right? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. Lufthansa has two seat and configurate cabin layout versions that they currently use on their Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft. However, on this particular Lufthansa Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft, it seats 293 passengers in a three class configurate cabin layout. Here's the breakdown there run from rows one to eight, which will be from here to about right here. You have 48 business class fully flat bed seats, rows 12 to 15, which will be from here to about right here. You have 
21 premium economy class seats. There's not a row 13 on this aircraft. And row 16 to 42, which will be about from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft, you have additional 224 economy class seats, which brings a total of 293 seats. And finally, and in addition to New Delhi, India, as the official inaugural international flight destination for this particular aircraft, Lufthansa currently employs this aircraft or have previously utilized this aircraft, the Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft on route from Munich, Germany to Berlin Tegel, Beijing Capital, Boston Logan, Charlotte, North Carolina, Chicago O'Hare, Denver, Colorado, Detroit, Michigan, Hamburg, Germany, Los Angeles, California, Miami, Florida, Montreal, Ontario, Canada, Mumbai, India, Newark, New Jersey, Osaka, Kansai, San Francisco, California, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Seoul, Ichihan, Shanghai, Pudong, Singapore, Changi, and Tokyo, Haneda, and from Berlin to Gale to Munich, Germany, and from Frankfurt, Germany to Chicago, O'Hare, Denver, Colorado, Leipzig, Los Angeles, California, Miami, Florida, and Tokyo, Haneda. Well, everyone, those are the routes, and this will pretty much conclude this model review. I like to know you got this model, or you can, or you plan on getting this model if you can get your hands on it, because it's becoming very scarce as we speak. I highly recommend this model. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.